In this lecture, I'll briefly introduce the location namespace, the location provider, the landmark, and the location service. Then, I'm going to talk about the map control used to display a map on the screen. BADA's location namespace basically provides functions to get the location of the current device or of other devices and functions to search for and manage landmarks. Using this namespace, you can develop applications using location-based services. Now, I'll talk about the sub-namespaces of the location namespace. The location namespace contains classes to get the current position of the user and classes to get the remote locations of other devices. The landmark, landmark store, and remote landmark store classes perform roles to manage the points of interest through the database. Location services include the map, geocoding, route, and directory services. The UI controls that display location-related information on the screen are also provided here. Let's have a look at the Location Provider class that returns the current location in detail. The Location Provider class contains APIs that belong to the Location Privilege group. The Location Provider class is used to get the current location of the device using either the GPS of the device or the surrounding Wi-Fi access points. The Location Provider class also has a function to report the current location at a predetermined interval. The location is returned in the Location class. The Location class provides the coordinates to figure out the current position, the direction, and velocity, the timestamp, the method used to get the location, and, if there's GPS, the satellite information for the GPS. A listener is used to deliver the location information to an application. There are functions that manage listeners such as the Request Location Update, Cancel Location Update, and Add Area Listener functions. First, the Request Location Update function reports the current position at a predetermined interval through the registered listener whenever the location changes. The Cancel Location Update function is used to delete the listener registered in the Request Location Update function. And finally, the Add Area Listener function calls a specific function of the listener object when the location moves out of or enters a predetermined area. You can delete the listener using the Remove Area Listener function. Let's see how we can use the Location Provider class. The first method is acquiring the location on a regular basis using the Location Provider class. Since this method consumes a lot of resources, using this function widely is not recommended. To use this method, call the GetRequestLocationUpdates function during the initialization, then add the listener. Then, the listener function in the listener object is called periodically. You can get the location through the listener. If the application changes to the background, the location update operation is canceled using the cancel location updates function to save battery power. If the application returns to the foreground, the listener is registered and the request location updates function is called. Then, the location is updated periodically. Finally, if the application is terminated, the location update is stopped using the Cancel Location Updates function. The second scenario is to perform monitoring for when the device moves out of the specified area. In the initialization process, the current location is acquired and you can specify whether to receive the notification when the device moves out of the area specified around the current location. First, to get the more recently reported location, the getLastKnownLocationN function is used. The shape and radius of the area around this location are set, and the values are passed on to the addAreaListener function in order to add the listener. 
Then, if the device moves out of the area, you can receive the notification through the listener function. When this occurs, the on boundary crossed function of the listener object is called. If the device moves out of the boundary and the on boundary crossed function is called, you can set the add area listener to specify a new area. If the application is terminated after the listener is added, you have to delete the area listener by calling the remove area listener function. This last scenario only updates the location when the application needs to be updated. As this method consumes much less battery power than the conventional periodic update of the location, this should be used when it's not necessary to update the location periodically. In this case, you can get the most recently updated location using the getLastKnownLocationN function.